Hi, it's Sofa King Drunk here with uh, yet another attempt at a cider review. So I'm going to review is uh, yet another one. It's had a uh, mass TV campaign, uh, but unlike the other one that I've just reviewed, uh, this one is slightly better because uh, me and uh, the missus uh, were in Dublin a couple of years ago, and uh, we had a go at it because we saw posters of it everywhere in a pub, and it's the Boomers. Uh, Crushed berries in lime. Four percent Richter skill for that. The old boomers. Magnus seems to be the preferred uh, weapon of choice for a lot of people to, when drinking cider. Uh, Magnus over the over ice. Uh, boomers. I remember years ago working with a, a guy from Dublin, and uh, we were out having a drink. And, just get me a cider, but don't get me any of that Magnus. So, when Magnus started to take off big time over here, and, uh, he would like drink stuff like Strombo and uh, Blackthorn and stuff like that. He wouldn't drink uh, Magnus, he said it was crap. Uh, Boomers was his uh, preferred cider, he said it was a lot better. And that's before you could get it over here. And. Uh, I remember once he went to Ireland and came back and he brought me two bottles of uh, the Boomer's cider back. I must admit, it, it was quite nice. It was a nice cider. I have tried Magnus. Uh, I'm not really mad on it, but I, ha I have tried it. I've took a sip and one of my mates drinks it and I have tried it. But I haven't sessioned on it, but I've tried it and to me it was just uh, boredom in a glass. Well, anyway, the Boomer's, uh, crushed berries in line, number 17, plan B, do the song on the advert, anyone know what the song is, put a comment below, anyway, moving on, side of review, there we go, I like the colour of this, uh, as I said, uh, myself and my wife, we got a bottle of it in Dublin a couple of years ago, and uh, went into the supermarket there, a while ago, and uh, I saw it on the, the, the shelf, and I went, oh my god, that was that stuff we tried in Dublin. So anyway, here we go, we're going for a smell. Uh, crisp berries right enough, uh, you're getting it right away, you're getting, you're getting raspberry, you're getting strawberry. And you're also getting a, wee, a little bit of the the lime coming through there as well. Anyway, enough of the rabbling. Slangy Va, Sofa King Drunk, and in here, try of the, the Boomers, uh, crust, crushed berries and lime. Cheers. That is really, really nice. That is uh, comparing it to the last uh, TV mass produced cider, uh, Stella Artois. That is uh, 10 times better. Very, very drinkable. Very, s I would say, uh, for cider drinkers out there, sessionable. Maybe the females out there could uh, easily, 4% Richter skill, could easily drink that, could drink a few of them. For us guys, unless you are a cider buff, uh, eh, maybe a couple, couple of pints or whatever. What I like about the old cider, uh, I'm going to touch on it again, is they all seem to be in pint bottles, which is absolutely fantastic. It really is uh, refreshing to know cider drinkers are really are getting their money's worth. Uh, to us the old drinkers, uh, five, six, eight mil bottles for a, a very, very good cider. Very, very recommend, very drinkable. Uh, recommend it to anyone out there. So anyway, so fucking drunk, another sip and then it'll be the rating. Beautiful, really, strawberries, raspberries. Get kind of black currant in there as well, kind of black currant, let's sort of finish, and then you've got the lime just to 
going through it all just to smooth it all over. Anyway, I'm going to give the Bulmers number 17, crushed berries and lime. I'm going to give it a Sofa King drunk of 4.5 out of 5. If you see this, buy it, treat yourself. Nice hot day, sitting out the back, or even sitting watching the football or whatever. Very, very sippable. Anyway, that was Sofa King drunk with yet another tent to a cider review. So, anyway, I'll maybe see you in another one. Sanjeeva, take it easy.